What is going on? Welcome to another episode of How To Slingshot. At least I think that's the name of the channel. I haven't posted a video in some time. I think the last one I did was the uh, my wheel video, um, which is pretty cool. Helped a lot of people out. Um, but today we are going to go over how to do an oil change. For a minute there, I thought someone had grabbed my, uh, I thought I had upgraded my oil cap, but I forgot I upgraded my gas cap and I freaked out for a minute. <laughs> I was like, oh, someone stole my oil cap. Anyway, so I'm going to go over how to do an oil change in a slingshot. This is the ProStar Polaris engine, Polaris, I don't know, however you say it. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to jump into it and just to give you some orientation of where things are at, um, you have, obviously this is the engine. I'm on the driver's side at the moment, unless you're in the UK, then I'm on the passenger side. But as you can see here, we have the dipstick that is red right there. And then you have your oil cap right there. And then on the driver's side, I'm gonna try to work this in here without dropping it. Oh, there we go. So you may be able to see that round thing right there. That is the oil filter. And so um, we're gonna be removing that. And we're also not going to remove the uh, oil bolt that is below this. So this is not going to include or involve anything regarding a jack or jack stands or anything else for that matter. So the tools that we are gonna be using today, I have a breaker bar. Um, I have a adapter to adapt to this, which is gonna go to my oil filter wrench, which is a 74 by 76 size. And then I have my Polaris uh, oil filter right here. And as you can see, boom, goes right over it. So those are the tools. I'm also gonna be using this guy right here, which is going to feed that nozzle into the oil cap and it's gonna pump out all the oil there. So let's dip get stick. into it. And I'm gonna try the other side, or try the dipstick and see if I can't pull it out from there. So I'm gonna pause the video, move this tube over to the dipstick. Okay, so put the tube in where the dipstick is, put the dipstick here along with the oil cap, and now I'm just gonna pump. And you should see oil start to come out. There it goes. And we are just pumping. So I'm going to keep pumping and when I'm about done, I will unpause the video. Okay, so the oil is flowing nicely now. You can see right here, it is coming through. And you can see the uh, leaders on this side. So th there's six quarts. Um, so five or six quarts is just under six liters. It's like 5.8 liters. So um, with this, you may not get all of it, which is fine. I mean, that's kind of a downside of using a fluid extractor like this. But the um, you should get most of it. So I kind of want to shoot for around the six-quart fill line. Um, and the if you push this all the way down into the, uh, the dipstick, um, you're going to notice you're going to have some flow issues if you do use a fluid extractor. Um, so you want to kind of pull it up maybe about an inch and a half, two inches, and the flow should start pretty nice. And you don't have to keep pumping it, um, just um, maybe three or four pumps every minute or so, and that should get you um, to the point where you need to be at. So I'm going to pause it again. Okay, well, I don't know what happened, but... Um, so I'm gonna uh, pause it and then when I come back, we should be good to go. Okay, so I guess my oil level was low. Um, so I didn't have as much as I thought I did in there. 
So I just finished. Um, I just finished uh, sucking all of the oil out of the dipstick area. And so now what I'm going to do is go down here where the oil filter is. I'm going to be very careful loosening that oil filter. And then um, if you don't have an oil drip pan like the one down there, you may want to put some cardboard uh, because when you do take out that uh, oil filter right there, um, there is going to be some oil that drops out. So regardless if you get it all out or not, so just be aware of that. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to put that uh, breaker bar together and I'm going to take off the oil filter. Okay, so a little update. Um, I had to go to Advanced Auto Parts and get a different oil filter because the person who changed my oil last time really cranked down on this oil filter. You can see the metal showing right there, which by the way, um, generally when I hand tighten the oil filters, they uh, not supposed to be super tight. Um, ended up getting one of these. The exact size that I got is um, one and seven eighths inch to four inches or 46.6 millimeters to 101.6 millimeters. Um, just reached up in there and did it. Um, I also had my oil pan in here, which I'm gonna throw back under there. I just wanted to show you guys that when you do take out the oil, um, the oil filter, you will have some dripping as you can see. So I'm just gonna feed that bad boy back under there, it's still dripping a little bit. I'm gonna put that back there. And um, basically what I did, I took the new oil filter, threaded it on by hand. Uh, before I did that, I took some oil, lubed it around. Okay, so my camera or my phone ran out of memory, had to delete some stuff. So basically took some oil from here, lubed it around the seal, put it back on there. And now what I'm doing is kind of putting everything together in reverse. So put that there, the filter. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that's tightened down a little bit by hand. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start pumping in the oil. Okay, so I put five quarts of oil in, checked the dipstick and realized that it said it was full. Most likely that's because I haven't started the engine yet. So I'm just gonna turn on the engine for a few seconds, turn it off, check the uh, check the level and um, and we'll go from there I'll give you an update so put the cap on there we go now I'm gonna start it up uh, I gotta get the keys okay let's try it again Let it run for a few seconds. All right, let's go check the level. Okay, so what looks like I uh, I checked it. Looks like we're good to go. Um, and looks like five five ish quarts kind of took care of it. There was some obviously remaining in the bottom. Um, one more thing to note is. When you're done with your oil, you can take it over to Advanced Auto Parts. Um, that's where I went. And if you have a uh, fluid extractor like this, the way you empty it is you simply pop this top off and empty it into the, the drum. Um, it's that simple. And now we're going to go into how to reset the oil filter or oil life clock on the uh screen right there okay so uh, basically if you have the orange thing going across here that says oil change you can click that or if you'd like what you can do is this is what it looks like here you're going to hit settings and all settings vehicle oil life reset reset and there you go that's how you reset your oil now to do a final walkthrough, making sure you got everything. So make sure we go in 
hand tighten the filter. Make sure dipstick is good. Make sure oil cap is on, kind of OCD. I'm gonna make sure it's on right side up and we should be good to go. So hopefully this helped. Away, Some people might have a question on what type of oil I use. This is it right here, 5W30, uh, full synthetic, advanced full synthetic. This is what the bottle looks like right here. So mobile one, uh, 5W30 SAE, uh, advanced full synthetic. And I found this actually at Sam's Club. Had a really good deal. It was like 30 bucks for six quarts. I'm going to keep this extra one right here um, just to kind of top off if needed. But other than that, hopefully, uh, hopefully this helped subscribe and uh, leave a comment if this helped you. All right. See you.